here and you're here, I'm Kanisi and if you're already watching my One Piece chill channel, welcome back, today we are going to read the news chapter of One Piece number 1074, so of course spoiler alert if you're not up to date with manga, so let's see what this chapter has, let's go. Okay, it's called Mark Free. very interesting, let's see, and we have the cover page, Free men endlessly scraping to be number two, oh! Okay, <laughs> this reminds me of something, but uh, scraping to be number two, that's a bit sad, like you can't even aim for number one. Okay, that's very interesting, so we have three of them, like uh, Caesar, Judge and Queen here, kind of battling it out, uh, that's very funny. Honestly, I really enjoy Caesar's design here uh, in this year, in his year, <laughs> younger years. Uh, a figure blocks their way, Fabrio Stratum, Egghead. You are meant to be with the marines, right? Why the hell is a government weapon getting in our way on Egghead? You will pay for hurting our men. What was that ability? It's a bubble shield, the ultimate defense invented by Vegapunk. This must be a Mark III pacifist, it's far more advanced than the prototypes used in the summit war. So a new upgraded pacifista never sounds group weapon. Pacifist, damn, he's huge! Uh, and you can see the writing on the chest, PX3041. Whoa, that's a lot. Um, okay, um, resistance is futile. Pacifista is saying, surrender and proceed with me to Factory B. Everyone, do what it says if you don't want to die. Uh, that's interesting also, like number 041. Does it mean that he's like the 31st of like a huge number of them? Uh, that is very interesting. Okay, let's see. But who is controlling him? Pacifista don't act on their own like this. And pacifist is saying, initiating capture. Uh, now we go to factory. Please don't move, you'll aggravate your wounds. Someday, of this turned out to be. <laughs> yeah, other pacifists are doing their job. Something is definitely up. The frontier dome is sealed, and I can't even get a hold of Grandpa Pong. Okay, so Santa Maru is hot. Uh, but he uh, is now in full consciousness and he remembers Luffy. You got it. I'll get him off the island no matter what. He's breathing heavily, um, talking with his Denden Mushi. Mm, Denden Mushi is being quite electrical bzz, bzz. it's unsettling the navy is still trying to reach me oh, okay is this uh, like mm, does this mean that kizaru is trying to reach him they don't realize i'm already a rebel okay so at this point uh, he's being tended to by factory workers uh he is very hot and he's asking other pacifists to doing their job so might he be like from a bit of a distance controlling this pacifista is this what is implied but then he wouldn't ask other pacifists to do it well he can't see it maybe uh, he can control it from here and give it orders from here i'm not quite um, convinced on this uh, but then he's also being con um, contacted by the navy they don't know yet that he has already rebelled um, so they're still trying to contact him as their associate guess i can just do whatever i want now okay all 50 mark free units stand ready to deploy okay so that was him that was santamaru uh, controlling a uh, pacifista and probably number 41 was actually like this number but there's more than 41 there are 50 of them <laughs> that's insane that's so much and he can he has full control over them oh straw hat luffy will be taking dr vegapunk with him on his ship your mission is to see to it that they set sail safely understood okay with this backup our chances rise dramatically but vegapunk has disappeared that's a slight hiccup we have the navy might have something up their sleeve Stand guard at the coast. Ooh, everyone is like impressed. Stop moving. Let us out of here. 
something is going to go down on this island soon okay so it looks like all these agents are being locked in uh, one of the laboratories that's uh, why they're asking like let us out of here meanwhile all these uh, pacifistas are going to stand guard at the coast something is going to go down on this island soon no matter what happens you must endure uh, ensure i'm sorry ensure your creator escapes okay this is um okay <laughs> this is very impressive i love the shading on these panels okay it's kind of has also this sense of foreboding something is going to go down on this island soon that sounds scary like uh, the climax is not here yet it's going to be like something bigger labastratum egghead what do you mean he's not here he's got to be in the lab somewhere i ran all over the place looking though so you broke your hover boots from all that running around don't snitch i can't pay them back oh no luffy broke his hover boots and he ran around all of the lab and couldn't uh, find vegapunk but seriously where did devil grams go i couldn't find bonnie either see they both have disappeared wait bonnie is over here huh everything in the lab is transmitted to this monitor she never went anywhere what you could have told me sooner what the heck luffy has read everywhere and the monitor was always here we could check on everything okay so bonnie is here she's present wait we have suddenly double page let's see what are the sick outfits oh my god zora looks fabulous wait is this stassi um okay she could have some pants you know it would be nice like just a little bit they don't have to be long but at least some i don't know it just looks um a bit stupid when she's just in her panties to be honest this place is simply marvelous oh my god brooke what is this on your head it looks so cool they have everything the future is now i thought we were leaving zora is asking where is your stellar body did something happen stassi i think is asking yes we have a couple of issues just keep calm and listen first the stella has disappeared second we've lost control of the frontier dome uh so yeah only vegapunk has disappeared and bonnie is still present that's important hey your face is as good as new we found some spare parts oh okay so uh she is uh, fixed now yeah so they are all gathered here on this very big panel uh, you can see that atlas is all fixed now she's all right she feels much better york is sleepy probably as usual sanja i think is in love from seeing her uh, being uh, so big and beautiful uh, then uh, Shaka is obviously explaining everything. Uh, we see <laughs> Nami having fun uh, beating uh, Luchu with her legs. Okay, that's very interesting. I think Robin is trying to stop her. Like, he'll wake him up, probably. Um, everyone is just... Okay, someone else is there. Usopp, I think, is trying to see what happens on the monitor. Uh, Luffy, as I just read, is surprised that Atlas is now all right. Um, face is good as new. And then I think Edison is saying, like, we found uh, some spare parts. <clears throat> um, and I think the reaction what how can that be uh is obviously to the words of shaka that the stella has disappeared and that we lost control of the frontier dome uh, this is a very interesting panel a lot is happening on it and i like the chaos in the background uh, it's so very cool i think i pointed out uh, all of the most interesting details and then as things stand we are basically trapped on the lava stratum seriously if we tried to leave the lasers would likely fry us because because they lost control of the frontier dome that is why what how can we leave the island with vegapunk then usopp yells and chopper is also shocked yeah but we also need vegapunk so we have to kind of gain control back again for the dome and find Vegapunk. Then this thing with the dome reminds me, of course, of the Rosa. <laughs> I have like war flashbacks. <laughs> Quite, Shaka says. And the dome is really a secondary concern when you consider your main passenger is missing. Yeah, that's true. We should 
we should prioritize finding the Stella first. I'll figure out a way to repair the dome in the meantime. Then Frankie answers, how are we meant to find him if he is not shown up of any of your monitors yet? That's true. Well, these displays do normally show the entire lab. But that Seraphim Rampage just now must have incapacitated some of the baby monitor snails. Or maybe they were just knocked out of position. Okay, so they use snails to get all these uh, visuals of all the rooms. And you can actually see the setup here. It's honestly a miracle. Like, everything is in shambles around this station. And even the station is a bit damaged. But the monitors themselves are all fine. <laughs> that, that is nice. Honestly, this is very interesting. We can see all these little pictures. Yeah, I think it just <clears throat> shows different locations, um, not any of the events here. I'm having, oh my god, now you can see Sanji in the background uh, fanboying, let's say, <laughs> over Stasi. Yeah, she's also very, she is very beautiful, honestly. Like, she has this class. I'm having our workers and the other satellites search for him, Shaka continues. He might have passed out in a blind spot. I think it is possible, but is this really how it is? I'm not sure. Shaka, it's Pythagoras, third floor of Sea Tower seems empty. Um, I see, the next try, the sooner we find him, the sooner we can get sa set sail. Let's go search. For treasure too! Naomi has her spirits lifted! Maybe she feels happy after kicking Lucha for a bit! Look! She's, she even has this little note uh, near her, so she's humming! And Brooke joins her, I'll join you! I'll also take a look around, I'm worried! Stasi is saying, oh! Stasi Sama, take me with you, Sanji, please! Yes, I'll lend a hand. We are looking for Jiza with a sword of head, right? <laughs> Zora asks. Well, I guess. Hold up, Moss Head. You are going out to find someone. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. He is going to get lost himself. <laughs> I totally would. <laughs> but who is going to find you when you are done? He's right, Zora. You stay. Just be a dear and wait, okay? Even Robin joins in and he's like, a heck. <laughs> Okay, that's, uh, that's... Oh my god, I love these panels here. Man, what damn pain. Well, they're just forming a search party, so I guess they'll be fine. As Zora says, now chilling on the couch with Luffy. Luffy is still tired from running all over the place. Yeah, um, Luffy already looked everywhere, as it seems, and he didn't find Vegapunk, so I don't think it uh, the search party will come up with anything. Um. So, anyway, you must have been uh, running all out, huh? Of I always go out for everything. Can't believe we bumped into these guys again. Um, yeah, now they're talking about um, Luchi and Kaku. Takes me back to Water 7. I wonder how Ice Boss is doing. Yeah, that's interesting. Now we go to Lab Interior, poor room. Bonnie, don't touch it. Shut it, get out of here. Well Vegapunk was crying as a kid. Okay, so th that's a bit of a flashback, I assume. S what's wrong? What is going on? Uh, it's like Bonnie is in some foreign landscape and she sees someone crying. Like a very big kid uh, with a like, buzzed of hair, you know, is crying. And she asks, hey, what's wrong? Wait, that's it? Is this, like, as a child? Come here, we got you now. Oh, someone say, make him take it anymore. Bastard, get your ass back now if you escape. They'll kill the rest of us. I don't want to go back. Is this, like, like his memories of his childhood? Kumas? I don't ever want to go there again. What's good crew I'm gonna do? Damn bread. What the? I can't get any closer. Go back, just kill me instead. If I go back, I'll die anyway. What? Some punks are beating him with a huge club. It hurts. I'm sorry. Help me. It hurts. I'm sorry. Wait, this hair uh, looks like, um, you know, the celestial dragon um, head. Interesting. Stop it. Save me. Please stop it. 
what the heck? I think this is kind of like his memories or his... Oh, I'm not sure, actually. And then it's like she was inside this paw or she was touching it and was visually inside some other place. And now she's kind of been thrown away from it, very shocked. And we go to Kume again, how with bloody hands he's trying to climb um, the red line. Bartolomeo Kua is still going, shoot him down. I'm a bit confused. I couldn't take it all in. My resolve wasn't strong enough, Bonnie is thinking. But if I stay ignorant, I'll never be able to understand. Right, Dad? Okay. So I feel like this was kind of his memories. So as a child, maybe celestial dragons had him kind of as a pet. And he tried to get away and they were probably abusing him. And these guys had to uh, bring him back. Uh, so... Uh, the celestial dragons could still uh, have their fun with him uh, that's what I assume but that's a bit interesting uh, but then again I feel like now she just wants to see more of his memories so she would be able to understand like his motivations maybe uh, let's see wow they really totaled the place even though they were born here uh, Pythagoras uh, is saying I think here yeah, Stella, where the blazes did you get to? Hmm? And suddenly there's a huge explosion. Wait, someone was behind him. There's like a clink behind him. So someone snuck up on him. And now there's an explosion. So I think Pythagoras was attacked. He was in the center of this explosion here. Okay. Haha, <laughs> get a load of this. An insane scoop just came in. The world. Okay, now we go to Morgan's to the news. Uh, the news. And it's such a cute ship. Like an airship. Uh, it looks so cool, like a teapot. Um, gotcha. The world government intends to assassinate the beloved Dr. Vegapunk. They plan to kill the world's greatest genius. It's like a horror all over again. But they've miscalculated this time. The good doctor is far too popular for this to fly. He's loved as the man that develops energy to light up towns the world over. So he's very loved. That's interesting. Fortunately, guess who else happens to be on the scene? This guy. Photo of Luffy. So let's make the headline. Navy skirmish at Egghead. Emperor Straw Hat Luffy takes Vegapunk hostage. Okay. So kind of showing him as a villain, actually. I'm sure the government will appreciate that spin. Go collect their contribution. Yes. That's outrageous. Uh, uh, wait, that's interesting. So like... <laughs> um, a headline that the government would be pleased to see. <gasps> Wait, Vivi, what is going on? That's her words. That she's saying that's outrageous. She's with. She's here. Princess of Arabasta, Nefertari Vivi, King of the Evil Black Drum. But <laughs> what is going? This chapter froze me for a loop. Every freaking page. Luffy's son would never do something like that. The economic journal is such a wreck. She actually borrowed my clothes. I'm never pushing them again. Uh, some girl is thinking. Oh, she has a great style, by the way, this girl. Like, the clothes are really elegant. I love them. And, yeah, she's fun girling over Vivi. And Vivi is outraged uh, by this kind of title. Like, because that's obviously a lie. Hey, keep your voice down. What if there's a wiretap snail around here? The, the government will erase us. Vapol is worried. Besides, Mork Chan took us in. Don't be rude. What happened? What happened? Morgan took her in and Vapol too? What, what happened there? <clears throat> Big talk for a girl who was bawling her eyes out yesterday. Don't look down on me or tell me how to do my job. My words can shake the world. How information flies. Besides, news isn't about fact or fiction. It's about entertainment and that's 
the end of the chapter honestly this makes me feel a little bit sad uh because yeah then use the fake uh, like use how you spin it it may might be the same event but the way how you spin it will affect how the people will view it and so you can really manipulate the opinion uh, of people and create a fake narrative and yeah as someone who lives in russia i kind of thinking okay so this is like i really dislike that um but at the same time i understand why he's doing it because obviously if he writes the truth uh, he'll probably be persecuted like by the world government it's it would be pretty dangerous for him and uh, how he would be able to continue doing his work uh, so he can't be completely free but at the same time i think before that he already went for some of the headlines uh, that may be some of the news that world government wouldn't appreciate so i feel like uh, he's a very neutral person in here like he tries to balance uh, between these two extremes you know trying to uh, get some honest truth out there but also please the government you know uh, trying to find this in between uh, so i think that's a very interesting character to be honest but other than that yeah that's the end of the chapter that was <laughs> i don't know uh that was a journey this chapter i d i don't even know what to say to be honest so please i uh, just just share your thoughts and your favorite moment like about this chapter i think my favorite moment of was with Zora who was going to go on a search and they were like you'll get lost and who will find you I don't I know it's not like the biggest moment of this chapter uh, but I just love these jokes about Zora being lost because I'm also very bad at kind of finding myself in a, in the space uh, I have a horrible sense of direction so I really like this moment but yes yeah, seeing Vivi honestly makes me very happy that she's alright uh, she's okay um, she's saved and it's interesting again talking about Morgan's how he took her in maybe saved her from someone from Imsama <laughs> I don't know uh, so that's really exciting honestly and about kuma i feel like we need to find out a little bit more uh, but please share your theories if you have any in the comments and yeah as i said that would be it for today i hope you enjoyed the chapter as well as my reaction thank you so much for watching and see ya mm -hmm.